Hey guys, welcome back to another JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can reload the page in JavaScript. And this is going to include with uh, reloading cache and without reloading cache. So let me show you guys both ways. Uh, first, let's set up our scenario. So let's just create a simple button that's just going to reload the page when it's clicked. Can't type today. Let's get this button from the document using document.getAdvice and then let's link this to it. Okay, so to reload a page, it's pretty simple. What we do is I can just use the window.reload. Uh, sorry, you can use the window.href. And we're going to set it equal to. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I uh, bugged that for a second. But yeah, essentially, we can use a window.location.reload. And this is just going to reload the current page. So it's a handy little method. Uh, let me show you guys in action. If we go to reload and just click in this, you'll see that it reloads the page nice and easily. So that's easy. This might be useful if you want to like uh, perform some kind of reset on the page. Like if you've executed a lot of sort of, um, if you've saved a lot of stuff to the database and then you don't want to individually update every component, you can just use a reload and it'll fetch everything. And it's less efficient, but it's just easier. So yeah, that's how you reload a page using JavaScript. But the important thing, which might also be useful, is if you pass in true, to this reload parameter, then it's going to reload it and also reset the cache. And the cache is used like, for example, on mobile pages, if it takes in a website, it's going to store a temporary cache, just so when a user visits that website again in the future, it doesn't have to fetch everything from the servers. And instead, it can just use this local cache, which is going to be faster. But this can pose problems because if you have a local cache and your website's actually been updated, it's not going to update the cache, so that can cause issues, especially if you have PWAs, which is why sometimes if you want to update your website on the user's local device, you can use a reload. It's called as a hard reload. You set local cache as well. I don't believe this includes local storage. I think this is just the cache of the actual website and CSS and things. So yeah, this can be useful, especially if you want to update your local PWA. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.